Hey everyone, it is Julie, Friday, May 22nd, 5.39 a.m. Central. Uh, Going to be taking a look at the crude market today. Uh, this is a day before a holiday, so I'm not expecting really anything from the market except for the market makers sweeping stops. So I'm going to be very hesitant to enter the market and advise the same caution for today. Um, we'll probably backfill in some from this breakout we had yesterday, but we started the week selling off, making lower lows, and then we had a little bit of a test on Wednesday after the report came out showing that there was again some depletion in the inventory and what's interesting to me more so than anything was yesterday the new saudi energy minister whatever that is uh, that title and he said that they're going to be looking to invest in solar energy and my ears picked up and my, the hair stood on the back of my neck so Saudi Arabia is getting out of the oil business and into solar energy, which only means, and here I'll say it, that they're out of oil. I mean, we all knew that their production would be flattening, just like spindle top, just like everything else. And here they are, jawboning the virtues of going green. So trust me, they're not environmentalists they could give a crap they're capitalists it's all about the money and they're getting ready to try to shift and change over to a different venture to get the same amount of capital and I say good luck I say I'm all with you I wish you the biggest success because we need some solar energy to move our planet forward and get away from these fossil fuels. So I don't, I'm glad that they're running out of energy. I think it's about time that all the oil companies started doing the same. But I'm wondering how much of this rally has to do with that. So if we're pulling back today at five o'clock or four o'clock, whatever the Baker Hughes inventory reduction comes out, We'll see how many rigs are coming offline. I know it's slowing down, but that may give us another pop on Tuesday, Monday, the market's closed. We have a double distribution in the market, actually a triple distribution. We've got an air pocket down here, and we've got an air pocket here. Yesterday was a double distribution day, but this profile is a triple distribution. So I think that these air pockets are going to get filled back in. This first one for sure. Um, price is coming back here now to touch it. And um, that should get taken care of. Um, just be careful trading today because the um, markets are going to be razor thin. Keep an eye on your value area lows and highs. Use your stochastic momentum. That will keep you on the right side of the trade and back in the market. Um, on a range day, I also use my overbought, oversold collections that show me the turns better. But do you see how yesterday these turns were encapsulated to the downside? This is where I was getting caught up. Um, this overbought oversold indicator is for ranges. Don't use it in a trend. In a trend, you want to have momentum, and momentum will, will knock those out and not allow you to get in, get trapped for the ranges. Or what's better to use is your mom momentum indicator with inflections that will actually get you in. On a trend or you can just 
choose outside value and just get in on each one of these inflections back up. So I've got plenty of opportunities. I've got if you want to go long your value area high or short, if you want to go short your value area low or long, or if you just want to go long and just set it there so that you can see each time it's time to get back in the market, this works also. So um, lots of ways to, to slice and dice this um, and help you with your um, trading. But the big thing is, is to know which context your market is trading in. So for instance, when you're in a range and you get a breakout, you want to run with that and start trading outside value or a trend. Um, unfortunately, yesterday, um, I wasn't believing the range was going to expand back out. And I kept fighting it here, trying to bring it back into value because I was looking at my range indicators telling me that that's what I wanted to do. So I got into some trouble yesterday. Um, it's You have to be patient and let the market show you the direction and then go with it. I'm, I'm still learning um, myself. So it's, it's a process to, to figure out, are we in a range or are we in expansion? And we didn't really know that we were in expansion until here. Okay, so um, you just have to give yourself patience and um, choose your indicators uh, wisely. Um, and hopefully these bloodhound templates will help you with your trading. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Be careful with the market. Here was um, our gap run yesterday. It hit the gap, fell down, but then blew through it. So we've got to come back and test the gap, fill in that area, and then see if it fails and comes back down or pops back up. With crude, it can tear you a new one. I tell you that. You just got to be careful and um, watch how these markets keep reacting to the same levels over and over and over and over and over. Wash, rinse, repeat. So y'all have a good trading day. I'm not going to be trading today. So um, Monday, I probably won't see you. So I'll see you Tuesday. I'll do a weekend report on Saturday. Have a good one. Enjoy your long weekend.